Hey folks, John here on Hickory Forge. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome. What's going on today? I'm down here in the workshop and I got something pretty cool I want to try. What I got here are ball bearings. What I got here, a uh, very fine 1084 powdered steel. And what I got here is stainless steel foil. If you want to check it out, stick around. So if you didn't gather it from the intro, we're going to be making some canister Damascus, but I want to try something a little bit different. A while back, uh, Dan Bailey, the buddy of mine who helps me out with the videography for the channel, sent me a video from the Alex Steele channel of Will Stelter making some canister. And what he did was he took stainless steel foil and he oxidized it in the forge and he packed it in between the walls of the canister and uh, the stuff he was making the metal out of. And the billet just came straight out of there like butter. And if that works, I, I want to see if it works. So I got a canister made up, got my 1084, got my ball bearings. A lot of people have actually asked me where to get these ball bearings for making canister Damascus. I buy them on eBay. Just make sure you type in 52100 ball bearings because there are stainless ones too and you don't really want those. You know, only downside is if you buy too many of them at once, they might flag you for trying to make a bomb and show up at your door asking questions. But anyway, let's get moving. So before I go ahead and throw this stainless steel foil in the forge, I'm kind of just trimming it up to the pieces that I'm going to need. We're going to make two little... Uh, little corners of it like this. They're going to sit down in the canister. We'll throw some little squares in the top and bottom and uh, hopefully it works. I wanted to get some footage of actually uh, oxidizing the stainless steel foil in the forge, but this stuff heats up so fast by the time you turn the camera on, it's already ready to come out. So what I did was just hold each piece in a pair of tongs, you know, hold it under the burner. It takes about a second for it to heat up and then you let it cool. And we got a nice black layer of scale on there now. So uh, let's get this canister packed square foot in there. Ah, come on. There we go. Looking pretty good, I think. Get our ball bearings in first. All right, then we'll get our powdered steel in. And then you just tap the sides of the can vibrate all the powdered steel down to the bottom and fill in all the gaps. You know, you've seen me do canister before, you know what's what. Alrighty, the can is nice and filled up. I got the uh, top square of the stainless steel foil in there. We're going to put our cap on, weld all that up real good, and uh, we can get this baby in the fire. Alrighty, we got the caps welded on. It looks like hammered dog crap, but it's solid. As you can see, I didn't weld a work peg on. The reason for that, if you've ever done canister, and also if you watch my last video where I did it, cracking and incomplete welding around your edges, as well as on the ends of the billet, is pretty common. And I'm thinking a way I might be able to mitigate that is actually upsetting it first and compressing it that way before I square it up and draw it out into a bar. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's just an idea I had, and I want to see if I get a more complete weld doing that. I also really hope this works, because the only stuff I had to make the can was 3 inch weld tubing, and peeling that off would be a freaking nightmare. Alrighty, so we got our can in the fire. Now, if your welds on the ends aren't good, you'll start seeing sparks come out of there. That's the powdered steel coming out. If you fix that right away, it's not a big problem, but uh, you know, other than that, there really ain't nothing to it. The two biggest things you need to worry about with canister are making sure it's packed tightly and letting it soak. Once that billet is at welding heat, I'm gonna soak it five minutes per side. I really should do the math and figure up some kind of formula of like, you know, minutes per soak at welding heat per cubic inch of material, but I haven't got around to that. So we're just going to turn it every five minutes once it's at welding heat after 20 minutes in the fire. We should be ready to go. We'll upset it, square it up, draw it out into a bar, and uh, hopefully have some good material. Alrighty, we're pushing a little over 2300, so that's uh, plenty good welding heat. So we're going to start the timer, five minutes, turn it five minutes each side, and then we'll hit the press. All right, that first heat was pretty gnarly. This thing compressed a lot, but it usually does that. So uh, at least from what I've seen in the few times I've done canister. So we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Same deal, we're gonna upset. And square it back up. So 
that second heat actually felt really good. It felt really solid. The end caps are starting to kind of pop off in a few places, so it looks like the stainless steel foil is definitely working. But like I said, that felt more solid. We're gonna do one more of those, squish it, square it up, and uh, then we'll see if we can pull this can off. Third heat, here we go. So for a bit there during the initial soak, the forge was actually running a good bit hotter than I wanted. We were pushing 2600. So we got a little bit of cast steel on our forge floor now. So tomorrow, whenever this thing is cool, I'm gonna come in here with a chisel and knock that out. But here's our billet. We're gonna let this guy cool and then we'll cut the ends off and see if we can knock the billet out really clean. If this comes out solid and forges well without any problems, I'll go through and do the math for how long it's soaked versus you know the cubic inches of material and whatnot and make up a formula for you guys. The good news is it looks like we got good steel in there, but there's a bit of curiosity going on. If we look at one offcut, you can see the uh, stainless steel foil seems to have done its job. You know, we got a visible seam all the way around there. On the other side though, it looks solid. And this is the offcut from the other end. So I don't know, maybe I didn't cut all the way through the cap, this, uh, or maybe the cap got pushed down. Either way, I'm gonna try to knock it out from this end and see what happens. So knocking the billet straight out didn't work, so I ground off one corner where the weld looked the weakest. And I'm going at it with a chisel, and it is coming off, but it's really not that much easier than if you used whiteout or something. So did I do something wrong? You know, if anybody knows in the comments, let me know. What I've done now is grind off all four corners, and now I'm just going through with a chisel, trying to pull the can off. It is working, but it's not the night and day difference I was hoping for. Alrighty, we got two sides of the can off relatively easily. These other two sides though, it's just straight up not happening. We're gonna have to grind those off. We'll clean this whole thing up a little bit and then forge it out a new bar. But uh, like I said, if anybody knows, you know, what I could have done differently, let me know. Next time I might try two layers of the stainless foil or something like that, but uh, let's keep moving. So I've gotten as much of the can ground off as I care to deal with, there's still a few little shreds clinging onto it in a few places, but we should lose that to scale pretty quick as we forge this down. It looks pretty good. I don't see anything wrong with the billet on the surface. It could be full of cold shuds for all we know. You never really know with canister until you try to forge it. So that's what we're gonna do. This is uh, about inch and a half square by about three inches. So 6.8 cubic inches of material. If it comes out good and forges well, like I said, I'll do the math and figure out, you know, cubic inch per soak time and whatnot. So we got that baby drawn out. We ended up with about an inch and a half by 12 inches of material by about a quarter inch thick or so. I will say drawing this out was pretty seamless. I didn't have any cracking around the edges or incomplete welding. I had to fight with it all. So I think upsetting it first was a good idea. So uh, when, uh, we'll let it cool. We'll clean off one side, throw it in the ass and see what we're looking at. So this is just a quick test etch at about 120 granite for about five minutes in the ferric chloride. There's still a bit of the can on right there, but that'll be long gone by the time we're done. But all in all, it looks pretty cool. I do love ball bearing Damascus. I think it looks really awesome. So there we go. Got a nice big billet of ball bearing Damascus. Like I said, it's quarter inch thick, 12 inches long, inch and a half wide. There's a good bit more here than I need for the project I had in mind, but I'm sure I'll use the rest of it for something. The uh, formula I came up with, this soaked at welding heat, so approximately 2,400 degrees for 15 minutes before the initial weld. There was 6.8 cubic inches of material. When you divide that, you end up with 2.2. So let's just say two and a half minutes at welding heat per cubic inch of material should uh should be able to get you a good weld because like i said this stuff drew up pretty much perfectly i didn't have any delaminations or cracks or anything i had to fight with when i was working it down so that's a you know that's mostly just a reference point for myself in the future every time i throw a can in the forge i'm not going to be guessing from here on out and you know hopefully some of you guys find it useful but that's all i got for you uh if anybody knows why the stainless steel foil didn't work as well as it necessarily should have 
Let me know in the comments. I think I maybe just didn't use enough. Next time I'll probably use two layers instead of just one. But, uh, you know, there's that. You win some, you lose some. The upsetting first definitely was a good idea. Stainless steel foil kind of worked. The concept is there, but it needs more experimentation is required. But uh, that's all I got for you. If you like what you saw, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Always more cool stuff coming. Patrons of the channel, huge shout out to you guys. And uh, y'all take care.